Thank you, Pasha. You're welcome, Miss Jane. That captain said I could come up on the bridge. Well, don't you bother him now. I won't, Miss Jane. Morning, Captain. Hello, Pasha. Is that one bus ahead, Captain? That's it, son. What does it feel like to be going home? I couldn't sleep all night thinking about her. You know something, Captain? When Mr. Adamson built the railroad, he promised me a ride. That's a long way off, Pasha. Oh, it won't take him long, sir. Mr. Adamson is just about the greatest engineer in the world. Here yeah, now, what kind of talk is this? He's giving you something to live up to, Mr. Adamson. Yes, it sounds like it. When will the railroad be finished, Mr. Adamson? Well, Pasha, building a railroad isn't as fast or as easy as it sounds. We've got a lot of work to do yet. What happened to those two engineers your company sent out here? Apparently, they just disappeared. One of them is Mamsab Jane's father. She was telling me about them. Yes, I know. I met Mrs. Carlton. And she was telling me about Mr. Saxton, too. He's her fiancé. Well, Pasha, you better run along for a while. The captain's going to be pretty busy. All right, sir. I go and talk to Miss Jane. Miss Carlton believes they're still alive. I wouldn't like to bet on that. Ship off the port bow, sir. Slave ship. Aren't they taking a pretty big chance running in broad daylight? Slaving's not over by a long way. It's one thing to pass a bill, Mr. Adams. Another thing to enforce it. Thank you. That is, she goes. There she goes, sir. Come here. See something you never saw before. What is it? An Arab doll. They haven't changed for 2,000 years. How strange. And beautiful. What's her cargo? This one's carrying slaves. Captain. What do you expect me to do, Mr. Adamson? Well, lower a boat or something. Look for yourself. I haven't a chance. Uh, Mr. Adamson? Yes. Uh, my name is Hook, sir. How do you do? Oh, how do you do? This is Miss Carl. Oh, how do you do, ma'am? Is this your baggage, sir? Yes, it is. Uh, let him as eagle. They told me in London that you'd look out for me. Oh, yes, sir. Pleasant trip, sir. Not bad. Not bad at all. Do you want to go straight to the hotel, sir, or shall we stop by the office? It's only a few yards away. I'd like to see the office. Fine. I, uh, I got your letter, Miss Carl. Is there any news of my father? No, I'm afraid there's not, ma'am. Everything's in such chaos here at the moment, I don't think anybody knows what's happening. Any work at all being done on the railway? Not a thing, sir. No. Everybody down, tools and left. Um, I'm afraid it's a bit messy, sir, but I'm, I'm all alone since the others left. And what's more, I'm on half pay. <laughs> Can you imagine that, sir, with all this mess to cope with the company halves the salary of the only clerk they've got? That's you, huh? Yes, sir. Where were Carlton and Saxton last time you heard from them? Um, would you come over here, sir? Uh, uh, here's the end of the railway here. That's about a hundred miles. Now, the last we heard of old man Carlton and Mr. Saxon, well, they were round about here. Their idea was to recruit labor from a friendly tribe. And then Mr. Carlton was going to come back here and push the railroad through while Mr. Saxon completed his survey to the lake. And the railway was started without a completed survey. Yes. Well, anyway, sir, I've been left here to clear up all this mess on half pay. My sole purpose in being here is to find my father and Mr. Saxton. 
Have you personally any idea about their disappearance? No, I'm afraid not, ma'am, no. Well, the first problem is to find some porters. Well, that's virtually impossible, sir. You see, the porters are afraid of going into Warush country. The Warush are the most treacherous tribe in Africa. That couldn't explain Carlton's disappearance. No, sir, but I've got my own theories about that. I blame the Arab slavers. They did everything they possibly could to hold up the building of the railroad. They even tried to organize the Africans into a strike. Who's the leader? Here. A man called Ben Ahmed. Let's go see him. I'm, uh, I'm afraid it's not as simple as all that, sir. You see, uh, he's not terribly friendly. We can soon find out. Just show me where he lives. Yes, sir. Mr. Hook, will you please show me to the hotel? Yes, ma'am. I'll organize the baggage and everything, sir. Did I, uh, did I mention to you about being on half pay? Yes, you did. I did. I see. Ah, here we are. Oh, good morning. Uh, is Sheikh Ben Ahmed at home? How's your Swahili? Not very good, I'm afraid, sir. Uh, how about Sheikh Ben Ahmed? Wait a minute. Asha! Mr. Adamson, can I help you? Well, maybe you can. We're looking for a gentleman by the name of Ben Ahmed. Ben Ahmed is my honorable father. Well, what do you know? I'm sure I can arrange it for you, sir. If Iftahil Katina. A pretty important man around here. Only because I am my father's son. <laughs> Will you wait here? First time I must see my father. And don't forget my ride on the railroad. I won't. We appear to have a friend in the camp, sir. He may be the only one. I wish he were a little bigger. <laughs> Did you meet him on board ships? I've been going to school in England. My father will see you. Will you come with me, please? Gentlemen? Mr. Adamson? Yes, I'm from the Mombasa Engineering Company. This is Mr. Hook. Your reputation has preceded you. Please sit down, Mr. Adamson. Thank you. I think you already know Mr. Gunther. Yes, we've met. I'll come right to the point, Mr. Ahmed. Ah, you're a man after my own heart, sir. Too much time is wasted these days on polite preliminaries. Proceed. I'm here to resume work on our railway. I need porters. I understand that you can supply them. Where are you going? I intend to make a survey from the end of our present construction on a straight line through to the Great Lake. You mean you hope to build a railway through Warusha country? That's right, sir. I think Mr. Adamson is an optimist. Perhaps you are not aware that few people have entered Warush country and survived. Could that explain the disappearance of our two men? I am not a crystal gazer, Mr. Adamson. In these troubled days, anything can happen. Now, sir, for your porters, unfortunately, they are at a premium. I'm afraid I cannot help you. You mean you won't help me? Well... Why? My dear sir, I like your direct approach. It is a characteristic of your nation I've always admired. I'm sure Mr. Gunther will be pleased to answer that question. It would seem that we are in competition. My company also is interested in building a railroad. Yes, I'm aware of that. What route are you taking? It is our business. But it would not be through Parush country. We intend to survive. So do we. At least that's one thing we have in common. Thank you, gentlemen, for your time. One moment. There is a possible solution. Do you really care who you work for, providing the reward is sufficiently generous? What solution did you have in mind? An alliance. Work with us, Mr. Adamson. I'm sure Mr. Gunther's company will be delighted to employ you. Delighted? Well, thanks, but I'm not interested in building a railroad for the transporting of slaves, Mr. Ahmed. You reject my proposition. I'm afraid so. In that case, allow me to give you a word of advice. Leave Mombasa while you have a chance. I intend to, just as soon as I can find some porters. I'm sorry, Mr. Adamson. It's all right, Pasha. You still get your train right, I promise. Thank you very much.
For his own good, I think we must persuade Mr. Adamson to abandon his project. Yes, Master. I did not realize we had such strong opposition. We'll see how strong it is when Gaza is finished with him. Excuse me. One of the oldest forts in Africa, sir. Built by the Portuguese in 1583. No, I tell a lie, 93. In 94, it was defended by 40 women against 4,000 men. <laughs> Hardly seems fair on the men, does it, sir? <laughs> if those walls could only talk. In 1790, it was turned into a prison, and that's what it is today. I always think these old places are interesting, don't you, sir? Did you notice the thickness of the walls, Hooky, sir? uh, Hooky, can't we forget the guided tour for a moment, huh? Yes, of course, sir. If Gunther plans to bypass Wairouche country, he'll take a year longer to build than we will. Do everything he can to stop us. Presumably, sir. If we only had some porters, we could use the existing railway for a hundred miles. How are we fixed on rolling stock? About five flat cars and an engine. Good working order? As far as I know, sir. Watch it, Loki. Waste any time, did they? Hey, that prison you were talking about. Yes, sir. Who runs it? Oh, well, the governor's away at the moment, sir. There's a there's a sort of second in command called Mustafa. Why, what did you You know him? Well, I've met him. Let's pay him a visit. All these men are shortly due for release. They will want jobs. But you must understand that some of them are violent and undisciplined. How many are there? Sixty. You want to work? Safari Bwana? Yeah. Headman? Could be. I'll decide that later. What do you give? How much money? The usual pay. Maybe a bonus at the end of the trip. Before we start, you give me gun? No gun. If I am headman, I need gun. No gun. I'll do all the shooting. You don't have to take this job. Make up your mind. When we come back, you give me gun? Sounds reasonable. We'll see. Take this man. These two. This one. Uh, these are bad men you are choosing, Mr. Adams. I wasn't expecting angels. How soon can I have them? In perhaps two weeks. Can't wait that long. I've got to get started right away. Mustafa, couldn't you arrange a small remission of sentence? That might mean trouble for me. But for you, Mr. Adamson, I do this. I'll take this man. This one. These, these three men here. Well, that was a pretty fine bunch of desperados you picked, if I may say so, sir. We're going to need men who have nothing to lose, Hooky. We, oui, sir? I'm sure, you're coming along. From now on, you're my assistant. That's a promotion. Well, thank you very much indeed, sir. The extra money will come in handy. I say anything about money? No, sir, but I... I wonder why Mustafa wanted to help us. <laughs> Maybe he likes railroads. <laughs> Who is it? Adamson. Oh, wait a minute. Did you see Ben Ahmed? Yes, for all the good it did me. No porters. We got enough. Straight from the local jail. They're a rough bunch. We'll leave first thing in the morning. Use the railroad as far as it goes. Would you like to come in? Can I offer you some tea? No, thanks. Jungle boots, huh? I bought them in England. Use them much? Not yet. What size are they? Five. What size do you normally wear? Five. You better use these. Thank you. 
I'm looking forward to seeing Warush country. Mr. Hook says it's very dangerous. Oh, only if you go there. Before you leave, Mr. Adamson, is there something you wanted to say to me? Before I leave? Well, yes. In view of the Warush, the porters were forced to take, and Ben Ahmed's intention of stopping us, I don't think you should go. Mr. Adamson, I intend going whether or not you like it. I didn't say I wouldn't like it. Good night, Miss Carter. Comfortable. Won't be very good at best. Wait, wait, now, wait, wait. Go, God. Ali, you right on the last truck. See if nobody tries to slip away. Yes, Potter. Where we go? You'll find out when we get there. Don't trust him, Mr. Adamson. He's a capable man, but he's also bad. Thanks for all you've done, Mustafa. It's nothing compared with what you are doing, Mr. Adamson. <laughs> I'm just trying to do a job. And when you have finished that job, you will realize what you have done for our country. Good luck. Thank you. We're about ready to go. <laughs> Somebody, Potter. Who? Then I'll say. Well, get him off of here. Where is the 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 To me, like some delaying action. How about some food? I'm ready, sir. How about you, Miss Carter? I was hungry. Well, don't look at me. I didn't know you was here. Are you the one those men were looking for back there? Yes, sir. Why? What have you been up to? Yesterday, my father went away on his regular slave safari. Uh, go on. He left me with Gaza. He's the one who came to surgery train. He's very bad. He beat me. Beat you? 
Yes, sir. I'm all over black and blue. I think you're lying, Pasha. The boy obviously had a reason for running away. Don't you believe him? Not actually, no. Would you care for a sandwich now, sir? Warner, it's a broken bar. Well, get it fixed as soon as you can. Yes, Warner. Looks like about an hour's delay. Keep your eye on these guys here. Pasha, come on down here. I want to talk to you. Come over here. <clears throat> Let you and me get down to cases. You just wanted to ride on the train, isn't that the truth? No, 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 sir. This is like an English picnic. It doesn't happen with my father. Yeah, well, don't get off the subject. Now, I know your father's men didn't beat you. They wouldn't dare, so why'd you run away? Since I go to school in England, I learn things my father does not understand. No. Well, what'd you learn? I learn good things. To be kind to people is a good thing, eh, Buona? Yeah, sure is. My father's ways are different. He doesn't like what I have learned. Not to have slaves and beat them like cattle. This is not good. Yeah, but it takes time to learn these things, Pasha. Your father can't change that quickly. He wants he wants to change me. And you just have to be patient. When he finds out you've run away, he's gonna be very worried about you. He only worries about buying slaves and ivory. He wants God to teach me. And he wants me to do these things. Well, you've got yourself a problem, son. Now you're giving me one. I want to stay with you, Buana. Please don't send me back. You could teach me the things I want to learn. Too bad we can't send your father to school in England so that he could learn, huh? Yes, sir. But he'd look rather silly sitting at the desk next to me. <laughs> well, I guess I'm stuck with you. At least I can send you back to your father. Well, thank you, Buana. Thank you, Buana. Eat your sandwich. Thank Eat your you. sandwich. We've seen a lot of the world together, haven't we? For this. Ahmed? Or Gunther. You look after Miss Carlton, Hookie? Yes. Ali, better get the boys unloading those trucks. Yes, Father. Press it. Machine on Doka. Thank you, Mr. Hook. What do we do now, Mr. Adamson? It looks like from now on we're afoot. All right, Ali, get them started. Yes, Master. 
Am tapat și cola. O pete, faci ne loc. Hey, Hoggy. Sir? Where are you going? Well, I was going to follow the track, sir. Somebody just tried to murder us. If they wanted to try again, where do you suppose they'd look? Hmm. May I make a suggestion? Yes, of course. I think we ought to avoid the track altogether, sir. We, we can always pick it up again if we want to. Why didn't I think of that? Well, you, you've got so much to think about, sir. Yes, sir. All right. See you in the house. I'll see you in At least the animals look friendly. Hungry enough. Yes, sir. That's why I didn't fire. All right, Ali, get him started. Yes, sir. Yeah, but the fight on. All right, all right, all right. Pick up the body. Might be an idea to make another count of the moon, Hookie. It's so cold at night. Yeah, it sure does. How about some coffee? Yes, please. Thank you, Mr. Adamson. It's all part of the service of the Mombasa Engineering Company, that is. Listen, 
Really, I think it's about time we cut out these formalities. My name is Robert. Your friend, uh, Saxton, you must be quite a man. Why do you say that? Well, you've been taking an awful lot of risks on his account. You seem to forget that my father is with him. No, I haven't forgotten. What's your fiancé like? He's a fine man. Intelligent. Good athlete. Maybe a little unsettled. He inherited a lot of money and lost it. He took on this job and promised to make a go of it for my sake. Let's hope he keeps his end of the bargain, for your sake. Why the sudden concern? I thought you regarded me as a piece of excess baggage on this trip. I still do, but I'm responsible for you. Can I ask you a straight question, Robert? Go ahead. We're nearing the end of the railroad, right? Right. Have you any plans for finding my father, Mr. Saxton? No. I can't plan to find him. Oogie tells me they apparently separated. We'll go on looking for them, as long as it doesn't seem hopeless. You think it's hopeless now, don't you? Mr. Adamson, Harley tells me three of the porters are missing. Get him over here. <laughs> Tell the men that Mr. Hook or myself will be on constant night patrol from now on. This won't happen again. Ali, what are you doing? Do not try to stop me, Nemsa. You're mad. Put it down. Robert! Oh, Robert! Give me that gun, Ollie. You have guns to protect yourselves. When lions come, how can we fight them? We have nothing. Give it to me. No. Get out of here and don't ever try anything like this again. Can't we send him back, sir? Uh, we know what we're getting into before we started. We've got to go along with him. I'll take the first watch with you. Right, sir. We'll be moving the sun up, Jane. I better get some sleep. Try not to worry. Don't worry, he says. Well, I'm not going to. I'm turning in. Good night. Good night, miss. like the end of the line. Keep an eye on him, Ali. Yes, master. Look, Buana. My pleasure. Jumbo. 
Jumbo boy, now. Ask him what happened to the white man who worked on the railroad here. Tafjara fell at Jill Kenny at Guam. Ali Kufa na Pumzika. He say one man die here. And the other? Who was it? Lee Hall? Wingine nyumbani kwake ni huko mutuni yoko. He says one of the white men live over there in the trees. I thought you were someone I knew. Saxton, what happened? Happened? You're building a railroad. What stopped you? The railroad? You're mad. Nothing stopped me. We're still building it. Can't you see? Can't you see we're building now? Every day. Two miles of track. I, I know what you're here for. You want to get rid of me? You go back and lie. What happened to Carlton? He'll be back. He'll bring a thousand men with him, and then, then we'll push on to the lake. How did Carlton die? Carlton. Carlton. He, he was sick. They cut our water supply. That is liquor. That's all we had, huh? only liquor to drink. Who do you mean by they? Try to remember, Saxton. Was it Ben Ahmed? Yes. Yes, Ben Ahmed. He, he, he fed us liquor. Shut us up. But I could still beat him. You go back and tell him. Uh, I'll finish the railroad. <laughs> Listen to me, Saxon. You're a sick man. I want to get you out of here. Oh. Uh, these people have been, been kind to me. This is my home. You, you can't take me away, Adamson. Please, if I leave this place, I'll die. <laughs> Don't take me away. All right, Saxon. It's your life. Adams. Who's that girl? She, she reminded me of someone. She reminded me of Jane. Who is she? She's just a girl. got to realize he's in a bad way. He's not only sick, he's half crazy. He wouldn't thank us for trying to take him away from here. We can't just leave him here. Can't take him with us either. He'd never stand the trip. For your sake as well as his, you've got to try to forget everything you've seen here today. That isn't easy. Some things we have to force ourselves to do. It's just the... Just the... Jane, believe me, there's nothing we can do for you. I know. You all right? 
right now. Let's keep going. your calculations, Mr. Adamson, there should be quite a lot of open country ahead. That's right. It'll bring us to the Gurry River. If we hit the right season when we're building, we ought to be able to lay two miles of track a day. How do we get across the river? First, we've got to find the narrowest crossing. You knew what was in me. Okay, Miss Eagle. Okay. Sir? Give me a hand here, will you? Walk that right out there. But... What now? Ali! What's going on? Boys are afraid. They hear you cross Gori River to Warush country. Warush, bad people. Don't argue with them. If anybody tries to desert, they'll be shot. Tell them that. Yes, Buana. Buana anasema kwamba. Tutuvoko mutu gori. Msua na wasi wasi. Nitamzuia tusuen. That man gives me the creep, sir. He reminds me of one of my uncles. Now tell him what I said. Yes, Buana. Sikilizeni. Buana anasema kwamba. Mutu akitoroko. Ata pigwari sasi. Mnalewa. I didn't know you spoke Swahili, sir. Enough to know he wasn't saying what I told him to say. across there? I was thinking more about the Warush. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, at least there won't be anybody following us. Do you really think we'll get through? No, oh, sure, we'll make it. I don't figure on fighting any battles. All we want is a chance to make friends. Well, let's hope they give us the chance. They will. They'll be too busy admiring you to bother us. You know, you'll have them helping to build the railroad before you're finished. Now you're getting the idea. It means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess it does. More than anything? Not quite. I'm beginning to see beyond the building of a railroad. What it will mean to an awful lot of people. Makes the job more important with that in mind. And when it's finished, what will you do? <laughs> well, that's a pretty good question. I guess I'll just sit back on my own porch, and relax for a while, and remember all this. <laughs> you won't relax for long. You'll have maps spread out on the floor, showing your children how you plotted the course of the first railroad to the lake. I can see you. Well, there's still a long way to go to the lake. And the children. All ready, Mr. Adamson. All right, we'll get them loaded. Let him, Miss Eagle. Look here, Miss Eagle. The boys seem pretty scared, sir. Yeah, they'll be all right. We'll just float along with the current until we find a netty that'll put us ashore some good place. You ride on the same raft with Ali. If he makes any false moves, shoot him. Not in cold blood, sir. What would you prefer, a duel? I'll take Jane and Pasha with me. Let's go. Pasha! <laughs>
Well, that part's over with. Now we're afoot again. It was nice. At least it was cool. Too bad we couldn't make the whole trip that way. If we could, there'd be no need for your railroad. You're right.
You did pretty good in those high heels. They don't waste much time, do they, sir? That wasn't the Wild Rouge. Too bad I had to use a gun. News travels fast. We better get out of here. All right, pick them up. Pacey, pacey. Good job, uh. All right, guys. Pick up, sorry. Religious hooky? No more than usual. Twice on Sunday. Is today Sunday? King say for you to come close, Buana. Tell the king we want to be friends with the Warush. We also wish to build a railroad through to the Great Lake that lies beyond his country. Journeys that now take months will only take a few days. He'll be able to sell his ivory and his cattle to the rich traders on the coast. The railroad will be a miracle. It will bring great prosperity to all his people. King say, you either a liar or a fool. If you make miracles, show him. Bring me the first aid kit. Tell the king if he wants a miracle, he can have one. I'm going to kill his witch doctor and bring him back to life again.
Thanks for chloroform, sir. Bring me the glass out of the number two outfit, will you? Sir. King say he wants a special gift from you. He wants you to make a white baby. First aid kit, sir. Give me a bowl of water. What's that, sir? Salts. Lord, no. I hope it works. It will. Give us another 12 hours. Poor liar. My friend, young young man, I like to buy a lot. King say you are very brave, Buana. He gave you ten of his warriors to go through his country. Thank him for me. Asante.
Ola wa anto si lori yue, o jin la ti fesere. King say, be glad close on paper, far on foot. Hmm. But tell his majesty we'll use some more white man's magic. Uh, Shakalala, Lily. I've run out of tricks. We better be out of here by dawn. If one of the king's wives should ask for some of those salts, we'd be in real trouble. Hmm. Pasha, ask his majesty how many wives he has. Uh, Shakalala, maha papi. Be called da. Meji ava shirekbe. Meta meji avungu tiketa. Meri galo da. King say one wife obviously no good. Two wives always fight. Three wives makes two against one. Four wives perfect. <laughs> uh, I think I'll nip out, sir, and warn the boys to be ready for an early start. Pasha, you better come and talk to me. Let's talk. Good. We'll have to be careful with that. It's sharp. I know. Is this what they were throwing at you today? Well, I imagine so. I didn't pick them up to find out. You know, it only needed one mistake, and you might have been hurt. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That spear thrower seemed to know his business. Robert, I know it's a bit late for testimonials, but it needed a lot of courage to stand there today. Are you trying to pin a medal on me? I'm just trying to tell well, you. Don't. I, I accept medals very badly. Besides, you've been pretty game yourself. You've lived a lot on this safari. You've lost a lot. I've gained a lot as well. Well, I'd, I'd better get out of your way. You're going to sleep here tonight, you know. You'll be all right? I'll be all right. Here. You'll need this. Oh, thanks. It's part of the service. Margie. Margie! Maji! Maji! What are you doing? How? What? Stop! What? Can't you stop them? Help! Well, I would, but I don't know the words. Do something! Oh, will you stop? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Tell the young ladies that Mr. Hook's ready for his bath, will you? Chicolara, hey, look for the hook. Pasha, would you ask the lady if they want? Uh, ladies, I wonder if Pasha would. Pasha, would you? Pasha, would you tell the ladies I've already had my bath? I, ladies, please. A little, madam, please. Ladies, a little, a little bit more. Ladies, ladies, please. Please, have you no moral standards? I'm. Pasha, Pasha I wonder if you'd be kind enough to tell the ladies I've had my bath. I'm terribly amused, but. Pasha, would you tell them? Pasha, would you tell them? Please. Please, please. Ladies. Madam, no moral. Madam, please, you've got hold. Pasha, I wonder if you'd be kind enough to tell the ladies I've had my bath. I'm terribly amused, but... Pasha, would you tell them? Pasha, would you tell them? Please. Please, please. Ladies. Madam, no moral. Madam, please, you've got hold. Please. Pasha, would... Madam, Pasha, would you tell the ladies I've already had my bath? Please, please, please. I have reason to believe this is your fault, Mr. Adamson. I find it highly unamusing.
Well, good night. It's good to see you, my friend. Come into my tent out of the sun. Well, Achmed, you have arrived sooner than I expected. You had a good trip. Thank you. What about you? Oh, I am well. Any news from our friend Adamson? <laughs> I would not worry about him. He won't get very far. On the contrary, I have information that Adamson has reached the elephant enclave just two days ago. Then he is through Warusha country? Exactly. Then this means that our route is useless. <laughs> Herr Gunther, your powers of deduction are amazing. Uh, nothing can stop him now, nothing but the will of Allah. And somehow I do not feel that Allah is on our side. Well, is there any reason why we should not provide the will ourselves? There is a chance we can. An ambush? <laughs> Herr Gunther, you are speaking to a peaceful merchant. I would never have thought of such a thing. <laughs> I suggest you do not waste too much time. You are right. I am watching him, Amini! Chukwu ili mundu ki zeno wa pesi! Yepara! Chohaba! situation, Huggy? Um, not very good, I'm afraid, sir. How are you feeling, Jane? Fine. My feet are killing me. The Warush say we should reach the nearest water hole by midday. Think you can make it? We'll make it. Where have you come from? Oh. Adamson Safari. He took me from prison in Mombasa. Ah, you are a convict. I think you are lying. You escaped from prison. I ought to shoot you. No, Master, I tell truth. And I bring you good news. What news? First, I want something. A reward. You give me a gun. Adamson was killed by Warush. I alone escaped. Now I know you're lying. Adamson is alive. Master, your son. If Adamson is alive, your son is alive. He was with him. Wait. My son with Adamson? But that is impossible. He was... Yes, Master, I tell truth. He came to train in Mombasa. He went with Adamson. We've got to stop Gunther. Master, you promised. My reward I have done well for you. I can! Give him his reward. Hey!
Pasha, ask the Warush how far it is to the next water hole. Kisima chama jikeko api? Mpaka sasita. The Warush say it's about half a day's walk from here, Buana. We gotta make it. Well, perhaps we'll have more luck there. Kilimanjaro. The natives believe the snow cap is made of silver. I'd love a mouthful of that snow. Do Aru say that devil men live in the mountain? Even the Arus are scared of devil men, Buana. They're not the only ones. All right. Right knee. Put down her packs and not get excited. Jane, you stay right here. Be quiet. She'll be all right. Yes, sir, he's as dead as mud. Sure got to find that water hole. If, um, if we follow those in parlor, sir, they should lead us there. They generally drink about sundown. All right. Do I need? Come Pacey, Pacey. Suddenly kind and very beautiful. Maybe there are parts God forgot about. He meant it all to be like this. How'd you like to build a house right about here? Oh, I might. If a railroad ran by it. Oh, there'd be a railroad. I know there would. How big a house would you like? I don't know. Not very big. Well, you'd want it well engineered, I hope. Yes. Uh, don't worry about the hyena. He's just jealous. Jealous of what? Of this. Of what?
Juma. Warn everybody not to fire until I give the signal. Simala! Okay. Sir? Give me a hand here, will you? Run that rod up there a ways. Before we start through that pass, we better get a check on the elevation. Things, That's huh? a good time to find out. Make up some torches out of grass. Yes, sir. Steady fire. Where are you going? I'm going to try for Gunther. It's our only chance.
wipe them out in a few minutes. My son is with them. Your son? Pasha! He will be killed too! Pasha can take his chance with the rest. of this land can be realized. You can depend on us. Moraga. Yes, Bona. Take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> 